you ask somebody in America today, does America have an active manned space program? Uh, my answer would be yes, it does, and it's in Mojave, California. Are you guys from LA? Let's get in the car and we just drove up here and came, haven't slept since. I've flown about 24 hours to be here uh, via Dubai in the UAE and Montreal, Canada, and here I am. about it in popular science and watched it grow on the internet but it's the first time actually getting to see it see it so it's pretty neat yeah. and that takeoff was just beautiful absolutely gorgeous yeah, probably about, you'll hear about eight feet back. It's, a, it's sort of like our generation's big uh, big space step and I'm really excited about it I'm, I think it's great to see so many people here I, I can't yeah. believe this many people came out it's great well, we were talking about it earlier, you know, we were thinking about our generation and like what we want to tell our kids and we don't want to tell our kids the big event that happened was 9-11, you know. We want yeah. to be able to say the big event was, you know, the common man got to go to space, you know, the regular citizen got to go up there. This machine up here, you know, when they're showing films of it, you see the beginning of the palm trail from the back and the curvature of the earth is behind it. It's just unbelievable to think that we, each of us, could do this. And on top of it, it's, it's private. It's like Lindbergh. It's like Ryan Field when they built, you know, the Spirit down there. And he carries it out and barely makes it off the ground in New York. It's the same day today, except we are the age they were. You know, so we have the opportunity to be a part of history, to watch an explorer begin something brand new, but yet the perspective will never change. It will always be to get off the ground and continue to expand. You know, now we're looking for the curvature of the Earth. What's going to happen when you can look over the moon and see the Earth rise? You know, that day will come too. And the best part about this is that it's all being done private. Privately. Most of his work for major corporations and everything has to be uh, solved through committee. By the time we get a major breakthrough design, you'll never see it. It'll stay on the drawing board. But this is being done, and nobody's stopping. The limits are endless. So they're willing to take the risk. Absolutely. Thanks to people like Bert Rutan. I'm 43 years old, and I'm going to make it into space before I die. This is what's going to start it all, and that's what we're all hoping. That's what I think everybody who comes out here is hoping for. It's saying that uh, this is a new frontier that is open to private people. It doesn't need billions. It doesn't need government. It's something that is within the reach of people. Yes! is it's a lot closer to the way NASA used to be. Everything from Chuck Yeager to uh, the end of the X series of the X-15, uh, this is a lot like, this is a lot like uh, the program used to be. You build a little, you test a little, you build, test a little more, you reevaluate, and it gives you the opportunity to do what they've done on a, on a 
limited budget make uh, great strides uh, while uh, not risking the farm every single time. So it's, uh, it's an example of the kind of courage that we used to have uh, in the nation all the time, and it's the kind of thing I think we ought to demand of ourselves and our government. I think everyone knows that there's so much out there, and we've always wanted to go out and see it. And now that it's been open to perhaps commercial use, maybe, maybe like by the time, well, maybe not necessarily in our lifetimes, but by the time our children grow up, they, they'll be able to see it for themselves. Being able to see it, not only just hearing about it, knowing that it's really true. Somebody's doing something for it. Just about every astronaut who goes out and look back at the Earth, they always remark how how small it is and how united everyone is. There are no borders to be seen when you're looking down from space. And if more people have that perspective, I think a lot of things can change for the better.